Hi everyone, I'm Joey Malouf, celebrity makeup artist and hairstylist and founder of the Glam App. And I'm Hilary Kerr, co-founder of Click Media. Today, we are going to do a tutorial of a cat eye with a gorgeous glowy bronzy look. And we're gonna make coral lip a thing again. It's my signature and we're gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go into concealer, so like, you know, we already applied like a light tinted moisturizer and I'm gonna keep it because it's really glowy and pretty and then I'm gonna mix two Chanel -O concealers and mm -hmm. I'm going to do a darker one first and I'm just gonna kind of do like four lines like that. Why darker first? Um, I just find that um, concealers sometimes turn gray or too cakey so I use something that has a little bit of a pink tone in it mm -hmm. first and then I um, apply the lighter one in between. It's very tribal, y'all. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna take a beauty blender that I um, that I dampen. Why do people think that you're not supposed to damp it? I don't know. I don't know why. I just maybe like, it's a makeup artist trick that became a thing, I don't know. Well, I don't know if you know this, but I'm not actually a makeup artist, so. <laughs> But I feel like you know so everything. I wouldn't know that. I feel like you know everything about makeup, though. I feel like you're like. I learn from the best. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. So then I'm gonna take the whatever like concealer I have left on the sponge, close your eyes, and then I'm just going to almost use the residue of the concealer as a base for eyeshadow. I am a new mom and I don't get any sleep, and so sometimes the eye area can be a little bit red, so it's nice to have just a little bit of a veil there. Exactly, I mm -hmm. like it, a veil. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this La Mer powder, which I literally am obsessed with. What do you like about it? Honestly, I just feel like it doesn't look powdered. I, mm -hmm. I was just like, how does that even happen? Non-powder powder. Non-powder powder, and then it just, you just can put it where you need it with a small fluff brush, and I'm just gonna apply it where I applied the concealer. The next thing I'm gonna do is take this bronzer and you know uh, everybody has their own way of contouring but I'm old school just act play fish mm -hmm. okay and then I'm gonna take it up almost kind of just dust it up so that it looks connected to the hairline and you know Hillary's face can handle some contour you can even mm -hmm. do the dry line if you want you can do the nose but I'm, I'm why do you like a fan kinda... brush I like a fan brush because it gives you that like perfect like kind of laser like vibe like that mm -hmm. like laser line and then I also can like turn it sideways and like soften it. Soften it, yeah. I'm gonna take the same bronzer with a fluff eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna use it as eyeshadow and I'm just gonna contour the crease. And then <laughs> I'm gonna take a black like marker pen. I go from the bottom lash line and then that's how I create my line. Then I kind of st stand back and I make sure like does the eye shape look gorgeous? And then if the answer is yes, then I do the Carry other on. side. Then I do the <laughs> other side. <laughs> then I match it. Okay, so look up. And then, so I'm doing the same thing. And like, I wing it and like, I feel like my first try always kind of ends up being a little lower. So, you know, that's why I like to do this step first so that I can really make sure that I know that the the wing is gonna be the same on both sides. I think that's so important. I like these uh, like fine line um, uh, liquid liners. I kind of go, I leave three quarters open because I'm not sure if I wanna go all the way in sometimes. So I, I start like three quarters in and then start to build the line towards the lash line. And I really like the line to be super, super fine as it goes into the inside of the eye. I, don't, I just feel like it's really important to keep it because you can always expand it if you need to, but I find mm -hmm. that it just looks a little bit, like it looks more attractive when you can't find the line of the, where the eyeliner starts. So then I'm gonna connect it into the line, the outer corner line, the cat eye. Wow. The part that makes it called the cat eye. And then when you do the other eye, you wanna do the same thing. You wanna start three quarters in, leave the inside corner out, and then just go straight up on the lash line and then build it into the line that we created with the marker. And then it literally gives you the perfect line that's gonna last all summer long. So obviously classic, like mm -hmm. Dior show is everything. We love it. It's the best. So I'm just gonna do a couple coats of this. 
I really just like the wand on this. I like the formula. I think it's like super black, which is great because it just like really makes your eyes stand out. Okay, so these are Lily Lashes in Rome. I think she did a like collection for Sephora. And, uh, and I cut them. So I cut the, in the three quarters from the inside to the middle. And then I'm gonna dip them. I just think they're like so major. And you literally can do this yourself. You just pop them on, go into the mirror, open. Go like this. Like really quick and then like be Done. out the door like and you have cute lashes and then this also amplifies the wing of the cat eye. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this buxom lip pencil and I'm going to um, just outline uh, Hillary's lip. I like this pencil because it's not like too creamy and it doesn't apply too much product. And a good tip, like if you're like not a lip line, lip lining professional, take whatever, you know, residue you have on your brush from put, applying concealer and then just kind of lift up the corners like that and then you almost kind of don't even need to blend it. It just kind of gives you a haze and then it fixes the line perfectly. Clean it up. Yeah, so <clears throat> here are these, um, these Lancome like shakers. Does this, 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 this make cocktails also? Yes. <laughs> so you gotta shake it first. Shake it up. It dries matte, but Ooh. then, yeah, you can see like the product. You can really get that like gorgeous, juicy coral lip. And then I'm just gonna take this spongy. Isn't it like kind of refreshing feeling? Yeah. I'm like obsessed with this. Well, so, know. yeah. So, yeah, then I'm just gonna almost like sponge it on and mix it together. Yep. And you can be like, you don't have to be like too quick about mixing it together because once it sets its mat, but it stays moist for like a second. So then there's this product called Skingasm, and I think this is so genie. It's like a dual product. This side is like a lip balm that comes out that makes uh, your lips matte, more matte if you want it. And then the other side is a glassifier. And I was just like, that is so smart. Like, this I love like options. This is like Alice in Wonderland. Like, eat me, drink me. What makes you small, what makes you big? Yeah, so I'm glassifying the lip because in the summer, what is more gorgeous than a coral lip that is like, soups shiny? Last step. I always do blush last because sometimes the lip can be like enough of color that you don't need blush, but um, blush is our friend. So I'm going with a similar tone, so like it's all corally vibe. And uh, I'm gonna use the bottom of the beauty blender and then I'm just going to um, dab the apples of the cheeks. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna just do it subtly. I mean, Hillary can wear blush, that's for sure. My face eats makeup. <clears throat> it sure does. <laughs> and it says it's delicious. Yum! Okay, so. <laughs> so then I'm gonna take the other side and I'm just gonna almost like buff around it just so there's no like harsh lines and it looks like oh. naturally flushed and romantic. You don't even need highlighter because we're using a cream blush. So then like it is kind of already dewy and you don't need like a powdery product because you want your skin to look really fresh in the summer. And then you can just like, you know, zhuzh and be out the door. <laughs> By the way, I just talk a lot, so you could have done that in like five minutes at a red light. <laughs> I see you girls doing that too. <laughs> and that's like our gorgeous bronzy corally lip. And it's stunning. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much, Joey, for doing such an amazing job. Oh my God, we have no fun at all. <laughs> None. I hope you guys like the cat eye corally lip and you should try a coral lip because it's everything. Yes, absolutely. Let us know if you like this look in the comments and please share with us what kind of summer looks you're obsessed with right now. We hope you enjoyed this and if you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>